Welcome back to the channel. You join me on board this absolutely fantastic trawler style yacht. This is a boat that I can't wait to show you around. I've just finished filming for my main channel, Yacht Boy, where I've done a bit more of a thorough walkthrough on board this boat, just to show some of more of the technical details. But if you love trawler yachts, if you love explorer yachts, then let me take you around the boat again in this video, but this time, I'm just gonna point out some of my favorite features. If you'd like to watch the full yacht tour, then make sure you head over to my other channel, Yacht Boy. I'll pin a link to that channel and the video in the comments. So starting off in the wheelhouse. Now, this is what you call a traditional wheelhouse. First and foremost, look at the size of that traditional destroyer style ship's wheel. And also we don't have just one spinning device on this boat but we have two. I know there's a more technical name for them, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, and as I say, this video is a bit more of an informal, casual look around. So forgive me if I slip up on any of the terminology while I'm trying to hold the GoPro and talk to you about the boat as well. But one of the features I love in this wheelhouse is the fact that over here you have a separate seating area where you can sit back, plan out your route, decide where you're gonna go, uh, maintain your comms over here whilst being sat down and looking at your charts. Uh, it just really is such a functional, straightforward, yet highly effective layout. Um, you get a great view as well. A proper old school style wheelhouse, as I'm sure you can see. Um, all the essential equipment that you need. And look, this boat was built from memory in 1966. Um, and look at that, still got the original throttle control lever uh, for the engine. Uh, let me take you down into the accommodation area. Well, you might be wondering what this pipe is. So this pipe is actually used to heat this area, um, which I think is a really great functional feature, yet again, something that kind of harks the heritage of this boat. Um, you know, her cousins in the fishing fleet probably have something similar, but look, it goes all the way around and you can use that uh, to keep this area nice and warm. Uh, let's descend now into the accommodation, into the saloon here. A really nice functional saloon as well. Lots of space, uh, great area over here to sit down, uh, enjoy your meal with your favorite people. It's even got a traditional, yeah, there we go, look, 1966. Uh, yeah, it's even got a traditional burner here as well. Not that you'd need it because there's plenty of heating. Uh, I mean, it's really cold outside, yet in here it's lovely and toasty and warm. Uh, here we go into the owner's cabin. Uh, you know, one of the features that I like in here is just really the, the, the kind of layout um, and the design of this. You've got your double berth over here on the port side. Uh, and lots of portholes allowing plenty of natural light. Uh, but yeah, in terms of what my favorite feature is down here, I'll probably have to say it's this area here where you can sit down, do some work, do some route planning, decide where you're gonna go, catch up on your emails if you get your Starlink on board. Uh, the internet speed is just as good as what it would be uh, if you were at home. So yeah, great place to sit down and do your work. Uh, let's head forward now. I will be showing you uh, the engine room on this as part of my favorite features. Let's go in down to the galley. The galley itself in this boat, I'd actually say he's one of my favorite features um, because the U-shaped galley, very functional, but there's so much room down here. And loads of headroom as well. Very nice area. We'd have no problem spending hours down here cooking up some decent scran uh, for your oppos on board. But yeah, so the galley overall is one of my favorite features on here um, because of the size and the layout. Uh, moving forward through the guest cabin. There was two guest cabins on this boat, but the owners turned the forward guest cabin, which could also be converted to a crew cabin if you wanted to. Uh, into a kind of workshop really where you've got lots of spare parts over here 
So when you are doing that long range autonomous cruise, you don't have to worry about running out of essential spare parts because you can keep them stowed away in here. So yeah, I think the fact that the owners turned that into a workshop is, is another one of my favorite features really. Uh, it's very unique and, and why have more cabins than what you need? If you only need one guest cabin, then make better use of the spare guest cabin by turning it into something like that. Lots of grab rails all around this boat as well. Look, you got one over here on this bulkhead, one here to help you up in the heavy seas, and a large grab rail overhead as well. Right, let's take you in to the engine room and back up into the wheelhouse again. Have a look at that view just one more time. We pan around in what is a very cold and was very wet sneak or snake I think it's pronounced all right let's go down into the engine room as you can see got quite a long way to go down there so hold on tight let's go down the traditional way so I don't slip but yeah as soon as we get down here you'll find out why this engine room is worthy of a favorite feature mention everything is incredible incredibly clean down here as well navigate my way down it's, oh, it's lovely and warm the boat is winterized at the moment and yeah very very nice and warm and cozy but yeah check out this for an engine room that gardener engine there i mean it doesn't get much better than that really does it i'm not an engineer or a mechanic but even I can appreciate the beauty uh, on this engine. And everything down here is all about redundancy as well. Um, there's a backup for pretty much everything. The fuel polishing system over here uh, uses magnets as well. So a very effective way of making sure that your fuel is as clean as it can be. Take it over onto the other side of the engine. A feature that I love is the fact that this engine is so high up. I mean, you know, carrying out regular and routine maintenance on this engine uh, must be a breeze thanks to just how easy to access it is. Uh, and the fact that obviously, you know, it's at chest height really, just below chest height. But a feature I love down here is the, the backup for the fuel. So here we have the day tank, which is obviously higher, at a higher level than the main engine. So should, fuel pump number one foul which is unlikely then fuel pump number two will kick in should that foul which is incredibly unlikely then you have a manual system there so yeah i mean this boat is all about redundancy and backup so that when you do your long distance voyage you've got that peace of mind knowing that there's extra redundancy pretty much everywhere but yeah, let me know what you think. Like I say, if you want to see the full yacht tour, then head over to my other channel, Yacht Boy. Um, I'll leave a link. Don't forget to give the video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, fair winds and following seas.